To visit St. Peter's Basilica, admission is free, but there is a wait in line to get through security. Just after security, we see Swiss guards manning their post. Wearing uniforms designed by Michelangelo, these young men take martial arts and use firearms as part of their training. Inside the atrium, we see the Door of the Sacraments. Made in 1965, it features panels depicting these important elements of church life. Here we see the Sacrament of Matrimony and the Sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Inside, there is much to see. Let's start by reflecting upon these statues that grace the north side of the Basilica. This bronze statue of St. Peter is at least 1,000 years old. So many have touched and kissed the feet that the toes have worn away over time. The plaque above the statue honors Blessed Pius IX, the first pope to reign almost as long as St. Peter. Pius reigned for over 31 years while Peter served between 34 and 37 years. Keeping our focus on the north side, the right side of the basilica, we move farther to the north and see more items located behind the statues we just visited. We start again near the front doors of the basilica. The holy door or Porta Santa is opened once every 25 years when a holy year is proclaimed. The mosaic above honors St. Peter while the inscription remembers 1675 as the holy year proclaimed by Pope Clement X. Nearby, and clearly related to the holy door, is this statue of Pope Leo XII, shown here giving his blessing during the holy year of 1825. Also nearby is the famous Pieta. This classic work of art depicting Mary holding the dead body of Jesus was completed by Michelangelo when he was just 24 years old. As we move along the north wall of the basilica, we see the tomb of Pope St. John Paul II. A great and saintly man, he was the most traveled pontiff in history and served for over 26 years. Flanking the tomb are statues of two popes. On one side is this likeness of Pius XI, the 20th century pope who started Vatican Radio, while Pius XII, the pope of World War II, seems to be fending off the horrors of the deadly conflict. Pope Innocent XII is shown here, with figures representing charity and justice. Next, we pass by the Blessed Sacrament Chapel. Only for prayer and not for picture-taking, the chapel has daily exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. The body of Pope St. John XXIII, who called the Second Vatican Council, can be seen in this reliquary, his face covered with a mask. 
Above John the Twenty-Third is this rendition of the Last Communion of St. Jerome. The original is found in the Vatican Museums. Many more statues fill out the north wall of the Basilica. This is the monument and tomb of Pope Clement XIII, who served for almost 11 years before dying in 1769. If you wish to go to confession at St. Peter's, a number of confessionals for various languages await you. Those going to the sacrament usually wait here, near the altar of Saints Procesus and Martinian. Christian martyrs of ancient Rome, these two saints are buried here. Going to confession is the only way to visit St. Josephat, whose remains are in this section of the basilica. A martyr who worked for unity between East and West, St. Josephat is celebrated every year on November 12th. I just happened to be here on November 12th, 2022, and so was able to capture this beautiful liturgy at St. Josephat's altar. <laughs> 